Honus, 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 happy now. All is now to get to be in a presence. Fresh and sign it back in here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now tuning into the mind of an alternate moon. And it is, it is Venus day in the space and location where I'm at. And Horus will be transiting the fifth house. And this is going to be my continuation on my astrological sun sign videos. Okay, so the last video I did was Capricorn. This is going to be Aquarius. Okay, so yeah, let's look. Aquarius is born, you know, from the 11th house in the sky. Okay, and Aquarius is uh, an air sign, a fixed air sign that is being ruled by Saturn. Okay, co-ruler, uh, co-ruler Uranus. Okay, and this is the uh, the masculine side of Saturn. Here, let's look back at my last video previous where Capricorn was the feminine side of Saturn. So, uh, feminine side of Saturn is, is Capricorn. Capricorn holds the feminine side. Aquarius holds the masculine side of Saturn. Air, be, air, being the uh, Yang in the left brain, and uh, Earth being yin in the left brain, okay? So, yeah, and there's objective, objective signs, okay? So, uh, so this is the sun sign. We're looking at the sun sign here. So your sun is your expressions, your, the light you shed, your ego, your, vita your vitality, ego aka ego ego so i like to say my ego is sagittarius the ego and my ego that i show is sagittarius so with the sun sign in uh, uh aquarius you know like i say this being fixed air you know whenever we look at an air sign we're automatically dealing with uh communication Okay, all the air signs deal with communication. Okay, so this is fixed air. So your your uh, actions and your vitality is going about, uh, you know, fixated on communicating, you know, fixated on communicating about things, you know, you, about how you can go about getting some sort of stability in your life. You know, or or a foundation to stand on. Okay, so with uh, let's say, let me compare. I will compare with your trines. I will also compare with the Capricorn that that shares Saturn with you. So Capricorn has the, uh, like I say, Capricorn has the feminine side of, of Saturn, and you have a uh, masculine side of Saturn. So the Capricorn sun sign, right? Automatically, that being yin in the left brain, okay, they automatically use their action and their vitality, you know, and have the more intuition on how they can go about manifesting something practical in their life with Earth being practical and Capricorn dealing with how to create that blueprint, initiating being cardinal. Cardinal is how it's initiating new ways on how to go about gaining stability in their life with Saturn, mask, um, masculine side of Saturn, I mean feminine, okay? Well, uh, with Aquarius, it's, uh, you know, like I say, communicating, okay? You use your action and vitality, you know, to, yeah, communicate and let's say in a fixated way, you know, being fixed, you know, and on on how you can go about getting some sort of stability in your life. And when I say, because you not only use Saturn, but you also use uh, Uranus. So Uranus is dealing with uh, individuality, uniqueness, you know, rebelliousness. And to be to be a unique individual. You have to rebel against something. So, uh, with this, it's, uh, you know, fixated on communicating, you know, 
a about how to, how to gain some stability in your life but this is going to be something that is unique to you as an individual okay so as a sun sign in aquarius you automatically have this sense of individuality a sense of uniqueness about you okay this is why you are able to communicate in a fixated way okay so there let me just go ahead and show you your trines your trines are just the planets the signs that share the same elements with you i'll go ahead and compare with your trines okay so air this is fixed air aquarius is fixed air gemini is mutable air and libra is cardinal air okay so like i said you are fixated on communicating when we're talking about air air communicates outwardly okay and just pushes out the information gemini is mutable communication so it's like adaptable communication back and forth communication libra is communication to actually relate so you this is a cardinal initiating new ways on how to communicate bringing new topics okay initiating new ways cardinal mutable okay and when you do it you got the trine the trine okay so and a trine is 120 degrees for the astrological term for a gift okay so um these are the uh signs that share the same elements with you okay so with aquarius like i said you are fixated on communicating so meaning that okay with the Gemini's adaptable, adaptable communication with their surroundings, initiating new ways on communicating. They use Mercury, Gemini use Mercury, and Libra use uh, Venus, okay? Masculine side of Venus. Okay, so initiating new ways on how to communicate in relationships, to relate, to have balanced relationships, okay? They, they, when they when they communicate, they actually want to have a, a genuine relationship, a one-on-one -on -one relationship. But for you, you're just communicating with you using Saturn. They use Venus. You're just communicating to gain some sort of stability in your life in a fixated way. And to show, to communicate about your uniqueness. And with your son, this, we're talking about the son here. So you show your uniqueness through your communication. Okay. You might even have a unique way of communicating, okay? So, you know, like I say, with Uranus, yeah, you know? And it's, uh, with this being, you know, coming from that 11th house, is dealing with unfamiliar places, faces, and how you conduct yourself within the public. So you, you, you know, you are someone who, you know, is, you know, let's say, you take put yourself out there in the world, Okay, doesn't matter where, you know, you are, you are, let's say, yeah, able to be in the public in, in places that, you know, that is dealing with un, like unfamiliar face places, you know, and this is dealing with, uh, let's say, when I say uniqueness as well, this is also dealing with, let's say, mysticism, okay, and occult and behind the scenes because, you know, unfamiliar places. You know, that can fall in, let's say, when I say mysticism and occult, that's just, this is we're dealing with far out. So anytime we're coming about Aquarius, when we come to Aquarius and Pisces, we start getting to the last, you know, Aquarius is second to last. So it's, it's coming closer to Pisces where, it, you know, Aquarius is dealing with the unknown, okay? Dealing with the unknown. So you, with your sun sign, you know, you express... You know, things that, that like I say, when we say unique, you know, when we use this word unique, someone can't know your uniqueness until you show it, until you express it. So in a sense, when we're talking about unique, that's sort of unknown, okay? You, you won't know my uniqueness until I show you my uniqueness, okay? So if, if I don't show you 
what I bring to the table as an individual, you will be in the dark about that. So that's that's sort of mysticism and occult in a way. Okay. So, um, yeah, sometimes Aquarius is fixated on communicating, okay, to gain some sort of stability in your life. That's how you use your vitality and your ego. That's what your son is dealing with, your life force, you know? It is based on this 3D realm we live in because you are ruled by, or you use Saturn and Uranus, okay? So fixated on communicating on how to gain some sort of stability or a foundation to stand on in this 3D realm we live in. And you would want this, you know, to be unique in a way where someone can see it and be like, well, that's not like the Capricorn who uses uh, Saturn with you. You know, that's not like the Capricorn. That's like, that's not like mundane. You want to gain, you want to, be seen for your, your your uniqueness, not mundane Capricorn. Uh, the Capricorn is like going going to gain stability in their life, you know. Where it's just like, yeah, they just have Saturn, but you have Saturn and and Uranus, okay, and that Uranus just adds that extra charge to for you to be a unique individual, you know. But they just use Saturn. You know, so they'll they they'll more be based on you know creating a blueprint and going about and gaining some sort of stability in their life. Doesn't have to be unique as long as they have you know something to stand on. But you you actually go out and you fix it and on communicating your uniqueness to gain stability in your life. And yeah, so yeah, first signing out. Catch you next time. It's gonna be my sun sign Aquarius video. Okay.